that part of the year where things just kind of feel shitty. Like, not just because of everything going on, but just in general, this time of year is always really tough for me personally, and I know for a lot of people. And so I know one thing that always helps me is doing some kind of drastic, but not really drastic change. Um, a couple years ago, I shaved my head. I filmed a whole video on it. I'll put the link to it on the screen. Um, I mean, I didn't film the actual process of me shaving my head, but I talked about why I shaved my head. And then I did kind of an update on why I decided to shave my head again, because I've kind of gone through these processes of wanting to shave my head again, keep my head shaved, grow my hair out, um, and all that jazz. This has been something that I've been wanting to do for a while. I've just been scared to do it. Today I'm going to be bleaching my head. My hair. My hair. My head. <laughs> I was thinking about doing my eyebrows, but I think I'm going to wait. I'm going to see how it looks first um, with makeup on. Because I kind of like the look of dark eyebrows and light hair. Um, especially once like your roots grow out and then you have your blonde tips, blonde ends. I don't know why I like that so much, but yeah. Um, so this is what my hair looks like. I haven't washed it in a while and it's in the very awkward, cute, um, growing out stage. It's very dry. It always starts getting super dry, um, when it starts growing out, but I wanted to have some length, a little bit of length on it before I put bleach on it because I didn't want to be putting it directly on my I've watched so many videos on how to do this. Brad Mondo, I've been watching him, and it's a little bit different because um, obviously my head, my hair is shorter, um, so I think the process is gonna go a little bit faster than obviously if I had longer hair, but all this being said, I have wanted to bleach my hair for a long time and I haven't done it. I've had this bleaching kit for a couple weeks now, maybe like a month, and I just haven't done it because I'm scared. Um, so this kit has everything in it. I got the kit from Manic Panic. I don't know if this is good. I looked at reviews and it said that it was good. Um, particularly, or specifically, I was looking for reviews on black girl hair. And so, yeah, uh, the reviews that I saw said that it was good. So we'll see. Also, it is cruelty free and vegan. So that was something that was very important to me. Um, I got the 30 volume because Brad Mondo said that he did not need the 40 volume. I also got this purple shampoo. Um, it's sulfate free. I don't really know anything about purple shampoo. I know this isn't cruelty free. Oh, this is vegan though. It's not cruelty free, but it is vegan. Nice. I also have this Neutrogena anti-residue shampoo that I may use as well. I also have a deep conditioner that I use on my child Luna's hair and um, I'm probably gonna use that as well. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put Vaseline on my head. My skin is like on the sensitive side. I'm just gonna put a little bit like on my ears. Just so, cause I remember getting relaxers and burning my scalp. And that was part of the reason why I stopped getting relaxers in the first place because um, someone burned my scalp <laughs> pretty badly. Something that I wanted to talk about, actually, putting my gloves on. I'm really glad these aren't latex and these are vinyl gloves because I'm allergic to latex. So thank you, Manic Panic, for helping me not have an allergic reaction. Maybe I'll just use half. <laughs> I might be fucking this up, but I'm just going to use half and see how that goes. I'm just putting it in here. And I'm just gonna use about half. Is that half? I'm the type of person who like, when, I, when I'm gonna like plan whether I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna stir it with this end. Um, I always end up just putting it off, so. What's a better time than right now? What is this shit? Ugh, it's gross. Should I start at the front or the back? Does it matter? I don't think it matters.
the side of my head is already like turned on. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have started on the sides. I probably should have started on the top because the sides of my hair are thinner than the top part. So I'm gonna do it. It's very important that I am able to fully express and embrace my masculine and feminine. Um, I have realized for many reasons, but being able to fluidly move between the two binaries, if there are two binaries, um, is just something that is of very great importance to me. A lot of what I really wanted to have the freedom to do when I was growing up, um, I was a huge tomboy growing up. And I really always wanted to shop in the boys section and wear boys clothes and do boy things, whatever that means. Dude, that is already lightning. Okay, is this normal? Because I feel like it's happening really fast. That's what she said. Did I get the back? I don't know if I got the back. I can't see it. I felt like I wasn't able to have the freedom to express that exactly the way that I wanted to um, growing up because I grew up in a very Christian home and um, gender roles are very important to a lot of people. Basically I'm giving myself what I wanted when I what's growing up right now. Um, just like the freedom to be able to flow however it is that I want to. And I feel like a lot of that has been, um, a lot of that recently has been focusing on like, how can I fully honor and express my masculine? Um, because I've been, I've, I'm really good at expressing my feminine. I know how to do that. But expressing my masculine is something that's I think a little bit scarier. Um, especially being that I am, you know, female presenting, you know, very, I tend to be very femme. But I feel like having my shaved head has given me the freedom and like, it's given me a lot of freedom and a lot of like validation, I think. Um. Wow, I look really cute. It says most hair processes in 20 to 50 minutes, so I don't know how much time has passed um, already while I've just been sitting here. It's already looking blonde, so I'm just gonna, I guess, leave it for a little bit longer. I'm just gonna check it like every five minutes. So, it's yellow. Um, I have conditioner in my hair right now, but it's yellow. I washed it twice with just my regular shampoo and then I washed it twice with the purple shampoo. It didn't really seem like that did very much. Um, I'm probably gonna wash it again like tomorrow or something um, and leave in the purple shampoo for a little bit. I don't really think it's going to do anything to be perfectly honest because I think it just didn't lift really? the color enough. Um, so it's actually really funny that it looks like this because I can see how much hair I actually have. It makes me laugh. Um, I'm actually glad, I keep saying actually, I'm glad that I didn't um, bleach my eyebrows because I like how it looks about it. But I am definitely going to bleach it again, like this part, which I knew was going to happen because this part tends to be, this part is thinner on my head anyway. So I knew that this, side, this part was going to process faster. So next time, I'm just going to do this part first <laughs> and be smart um, and then do, you know, the rest of it. But I'm just going to put a little bit of this hair mask in my hair. You can actually use this as like a leave-in conditioner. So. I figure that would be good for my hair right now. It doesn't look terrible. Like, 
I could have totally done this on purpose, you know? But it's definitely yellow. Um, I think it would, it would definitely look a lot better if I cut it. But obviously, um, I basically did like a massive exfoliation to my scalp right now with that bleaching. So, um, I don't want to do anything else intense. Um, but yeah, I, I don't feel like I've had like an allergic reaction or anything, so that's good. Um, yeah, first time bleaching. I feel like I did a pretty good job, I think. Um, but right now I am going to eat some breakfast and then I'm probably going to do some yoga um, because I need to. I stopped, um, I took a break from working out last week um, and then like part of this week because of my period and so tomorrow I'm going to start doing my workouts again um, but I do want to get some movement in today because my body needs it. mess again. After I initially did the bleaching, the washing, the deep conditioning, all that, um, I put leave-in conditioner in it, left it alone, and then I think the next day, so like Wednesday, I, I think it was Wednesday, I deep conditioned it again, and then um, yesterday I just left it alone. So obviously I'm missing some supplies and stuff because um, I used all of them the first time I did my hair. Um, so we're just gonna wing it and uh, see what happens. Also, my outfit is matching, which you can't see all of it, but I don't know what it is about matching outfits that just makes, it gives me like that ASMR feeling that people get when they listen to ASMR. Meanwhile, I'm like about to have a panic attack because I can't handle ASMR. Anyway, I'm just gonna take this little bowl and mix it with my comb, because why not? Um, and yeah, Let's see how this goes. Coconut oil on my ears this time. Actually, if I can even fit my finger in there. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, I did Vaseline last time, but looks like so. I'm reading The Hobbit right now, and I went like a good few days where I wasn't reading like at all. I don't know why. <clears throat> But, 
last night I started reading The Hobbit again and I just, I just love it. It makes me so happy inside. I'm not really sure why. Um, I kind of thought it would be a little bit boring, I guess, because it's like an older fantasy book, but like, it's so good. It is so good. It makes me so happy. Um, so yeah, I'm probably going to read it and then I'm going to watch the movie because I've only seen the first one and the first one was trash and I'm sure the rest of them are going to be trash. <laughs> I've had so much time to look at my head, um, the past few days since I last bleached my hair. Uh, it smells so bad. Um, Luna kindly informed me that I missed some spots and I did. I missed some spots around the front part of my hairline, my sideburns, and then also the back just because I was afraid to go down too low. I'm sorry. Um, I was afraid to go down too low, like onto my actual skin. But well, we're just gonna say full get this done because I obviously, I don't wanna have to do this again for like another month um, until I start getting some growth action. Look, wow. Wow, good job. Oh, so yesterday, two very exciting things came in the mail. Um, I think I told you guys that I was getting a new curriculum for her for homeschooling. Um, and we're doing like all year round homeschooling, so it's not, I'm not like really following like when her birthday is or like when the normal, normal school year starts. Um, I'm mainly just going by like whatever she is meeting at any given time, if that makes sense. Um, so like, I feel like her curriculum that she has now isn't really working for her because she's just developmentally past the point of what is being taught. So like, we're still gonna use it, but the one that I got recently is more focused on reading the sounds that letters make the sounds that letters actually make rather than the sound that the letter is, if that makes sense. I talked about this in another video, I think, because it was just, it still is very confusing to her to have like a word like H. H. H, and then, but it sounds like huh, you know? So that's confusing because she thinks that a word like apple might start with H or like uh, ape would start with H because A it makes it sounds like that. So I was very excited to find this <coughs> curriculum that actually explains all of the sounds that the letters make rather than focusing on like memorizing what the letter looks like and all that stuff. Um, I just feel like it's it's taught in a way that just makes more sense. It just makes sense. I'm a little bit nervous because this is like, it's like the style of curriculum that like I remember when I was younger and homeschooling, um, which I'm excited about, but I'm also nervous about because like obviously the roles are reversed because when I was homeschooling when I was younger, obviously I wasn't homeschooling myself, but now I'm homeschooling someone else and uh, like I have to read the teacher's manual and all that um, and it's just a little it's just different I'm gonna put this bag on my head it's about to be real cute So, music is loud when I was listening to Moana. But um, I just decided to record this part on my phone because um, I my camera's full. Um, no, honey, not right now. So my camera's full, so I just decided to record this part on my phone, but I'm gonna go ahead and rinse my hair out. It looks still a little bit yellow, but we'll see. Um, I actually just watched a video of someone bleaching their hair and I'm going to let the toner sit on my hair and see if that like does anything? I don't know how to figure it out. Go ahead and rinse this out and I hopefully I don't end up bald. I guess you'll see. Hi! Luna wants to show her hair because I haven't put it away I yet. I my dress. Haven't put it away yet because we're going to do that dress. after I do my hair. 
All right, so now I am toning. It is very white. It's very white, so you'll see what it looks like when I'm done. But I'm gonna leave this toner on, toner shampoo on for like three minutes, and then I will rinse it out, and then I will do some conditioner, and then we will be done. <laughs>